or when I was just finishing my career in the police, I noticed a lot of guys coming out of jail with tattoos on their face. So I thought it was a good opportunity to be able to have something available for them to get those tattoos off. I mainly do um, gang tattoos, facial tattoos, um, yeah, a lot of the visible tattoos, um, I, 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 well, a lot of guys want, but there are also a lot of tattoos that you can't see that they also want off. Um, again, some of those are, are gang tattoos. It, it, they're actually quite ingenious, the, the um, things that they can make tattoo guns with. Um, they'll make it out of just a small motor and a guitar string. Springs from a pen. Um, and the inks that they used, can, they're made from uh, plastic cutlery, jandals, jandal rubber, plastic foam cards, basically anything that they can burn to make soot out of, they'll um, make an ink for, for their, their guns, and that's what they'll tattoo themselves with. Um, so I've seen all sorts of stuff, um, printer cartridge ink, um, boot polish, and pen ink, yeah. and they, they can make uh, um, and then kind of to tattoo themselves. Um, the art, you know, I have to say, even though I don't, I don't like the tattoos myself, but the, the artwork is pretty amazing. If they were to put something towards the removal themselves, um, then that, there's an incentive to keep it off. Like walking down the street with tattoos on your face, um, you don't have to say anything and people are already making judgments. Um, so, you know, if I can help them get over that stigma, yeah, that's a good thing.